Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit that subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are go going to solve this second problem from chapter 11, virtual work. And the problem says that the scissor jack supports a load P. Determine the axial force in the screw necessary for equilibrium when the jack is in position theta. Each of four links has a length L and is pin connected at its center point b and d can move horizontally so this is the scissor jigs and it supports a force p in the downward direction and you are asked to find the force due to this screw um, we are required to determine the axial force in the screw so here we have the screw and when the force p is applied what will happen is that here we will have some axial force so if we draw the free body diagram the free body diagram will look like this this is the the black line represents the original condition when there is some force p so we will have that force p acting somewhere here and in the problem statement it is said that this end d and b can move in the horizontal direction and this end a and c since point a is fixed so when there is load P acting downward, so they will only move in the vertical direction. And hence here we have the screw and some mechanism here. So they will be able to move in this direction. So now if we cut this screw here, so what will happen is that when we think in mind that if let's say if, if we increase this force P somehow, so what will happen is that they will move this BC or this point B will move outward. So this screw will apply the force in this direction. So let's represent the forces here. If we cut that this somewhere here, so we will have uh, force that axial force here and we will have that axial force here. And at B, since we have the roller support, so we will have by reaction in the upward direction this will be by and since at a we have the pin support so we will have let's say we will have a x reaction and we will have a y reaction at point a and since uh, here we have some angle theta here we have some angle theta which is represented here so there here we have that angle theta so since this problem is related to the virtual work, we need to think of uh, virtual displacement. So we need to give some virtual displacement in order to solve this problem since we want to apply the virtual work equation. So in order to have some work, we need to have some displacement. Since the mechanism is in equilibrium, but in our head, we need to think of some uh, virtual displacement. So let's say if we apply force D, uh, force on this CD link, so the whole mechanism will, will shift and the shape will become like this dotted lines, which is shown in red. So in other words, if we give some angle to this particular arm, let's say if we give some angle D theta, so what will happen is that the, the, this whole mechanism will look like this. So this is here we can show that this is that small angle d delta theta. So if we give some angular displacement to this part, so the whole mechanism will look like this. And what will happen is that this point D will shift its position to here. And similarly, this point will shift its position here and this point B will, will shift to this particular point. So this point D will cover some uh, displacement in the downward direction and it will cover some displacement in the horizontal direction. And similarly, the <clears throat> this force P, the, 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 the point where this force P is acting will, will also shift and it will travel some distance in the downward direction. So now let's say that the initial uh, point of application of this force P is at a distance of uh, XP from this fixed point A. 
so let me represent that so the position of this point p from that point a is represented by a variable known as xp and xp will be considered as positive in the upward direction so so if the distance is traveled in downward direction then xp will be considered as negative uh, let's say instead of xp let's write yp since this is in the vertical direction so instead of xp will represent the position of that uh, force p is yp now the change in the in the position let's say that this small change is this will be yp this will be delta yp and this delta yp is in the downward direction so th so this is delta yp and similarly uh, here uh, this point b shifts to the right as well so the position of point b where this force f the screw force and this by is acting we will represent the position of both of these forces by a variable from this point a and that will be x b and towards the right that x b will be considered as positive so this will be the this x b will represent the initial position of that point B where this force F and BY are acting and this will represent from here to here this will represent delta XB so this is the virtual displacement uh, traveled by that point B and that is delta XB so you you guys need to keep in mind that we only need to think for the position of um, only the forces or we can say that we only think for the position of that particular points where the forces are acting right so here the uh, point p is acting somewhere here so we need to think of the variable we need to uh, represent the position of this particular point from some reference point so we have represented this particular point we have represented the position of the application of this point p from reference from some reference point a as a variable yp and similarly we have represented the point of application of b y and f is in as a variable x b from that same reference point that we have defined for yp as well so you so you guys only need to think for the positions of uh, the application of forces wherever the forces are acting you need to define you need to locate the position of that forces from some reference point so now we can apply um, the virtual work equation so that will be equals to zero since the whole uh, scissor jack is in equilibrium so we can say that this will be p times delta yp since as we can see that this p performs some work in the vertical direction so so this cd part of the mechanism travels some distance yp that is de delta yp virtual displacement and then we will have um, plus this force f the screw force so that force f times delta x b and then we will have as we can see that this point b does not travel any distance it it does not travel any distance in the vertical direction so the distance travel is in the horizontal direction so the display or we can say that the displacement travel the virtual displacement delta x b is in the horizontal direction and b y is in the vertical direction so if the force and the displacement they are making 90 degree with each other then there is no work done so this means that at point b b y is not doing any work so the only force um, the only two forces which are doing work are p and this force f since if we look into here this ax ay and this force f they are not doing any work since this point a remains stationary it does not cover any displacement so only this force p and this uh, force f they are doing work so they will come into our equation and this will be equal to zero now the second step is that we need to represent this yp and this xb 
in terms of this uh, uh, this angle theta and this delta yp and this delta xp in terms of delta theta so we can write that yp is equal to so now as we know that the length this this is this link has a length of l and this link has a length of l and from here to here this is yp so if this is angle theta so this angle will remain the same angle theta so this will be if we consider this right angle triangle then this height will be this is l so this height will be l sine of theta and similarly we will have this height so this will be l sine of theta as well so l sine of theta plus l sine of theta so this is this yp will be equal to 2l sine of theta so we can write that this is 2l sine of theta now if we take the derivative of this yp with respect to del theta so del yp divided by del theta this will be 2l cos of theta and if we multiply both sides of equation by del theta so del yp will be uh, 2l cos of theta del theta this is del yp and similarly xb we can write xb so again if we consider this right angle triangle then xb will be the cos component of this l so this is xb which is l cos of theta so we will write that this is l cos of theta and if we take the derivative of this xb with respect to del theta so this will be minus l sine of theta and if we multiply both sides by del theta so this will be del theta so del xb will be equal to minus l sine of theta del theta now if we we need to put this uh, delta yp and this delta xb in this equation and we need to think for the positive work and the negative work as well so now as we can see that the positive sense of yp is in the upward direction force p is acting in the negative direction in the negative sense of yp and this yp is also uh, traveled in the negative sense of yp so this means that uh, if y if if positive yp is in the upward direction then this del yp will be negative so we will write p times minus 2 l cos of theta del theta or we can say that the negative work is performed so we have to put minus sign we have to write p and then we have to put 2 l cos of theta del theta so this minus represent the negative work now as we can see that this force f is acting in this direction and the displacement is covered in this direction so this force f is also doing negative work so we will write minus f and delta xb this is delta xb which is minus l sine of theta del theta this is equal to zero so now we can write uh, del theta is common in both the terms so we can write that this will be minus 2p also l l is common so we can write minus 2p cos of theta into l del theta this will become plus uh, f sine of theta and l del theta equals to zero and now from both of these terms we can take l del theta common so we can write that this will be minus 2p cos of theta plus f sine of theta into l del theta this will be equals to zero now since the length is not equals to zero and del theta is not equals to zero so this means that l times del theta this cannot be equals to zero so everything in the brackets is equal to zero so we can write that minus 2p cos of theta plus f sine of theta this is equal to zero so since we want to find that screw force f so we will write that f sine of theta is equal to 2p cos of theta and then f is equal to 2p cos of theta divided by sine of theta 
or we can say that this is f is equal to 2p we can write it like this sine of theta divided by cos of theta if we bring this cos of theta to the numerator so it will become 1 by cos of theta so this will be equal to f will be equal to 2p divided by tan theta in terms of that position theta we can represent that screw force and which is equal to 2p divided by tan theta so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning also do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from chapter 11 hebla statics